Welcome to the Author's Studio at Book Expo America 2013 in New York City. Sitting with author Damon Swade right now. He's written a book called Horngate. Damon, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hey, you write male, male contemporary romance. Now you've thrown in paranormal. Uh, before we get into Horngate, though, I, I want to ask you about the genre. I, I think a lot of people might be surprised to know male, male romance is not necessarily read by gay males. There's a Almost whole, not at all. Yeah, tell me about that. Um, it's funny, when I first started writing this, I wrote it on a dare. A friend of mine was writing a romance novel, and she said, I think you should write a romance. And I was like, why? And she said, gay romance is really hot. And I was like, how many gay men really want to read a romance novel? And she was like, no, it's women. And what I found is, um, it is overwhelmingly an audience of straight women. Oddly enough, I have a higher percentage of men than a lot of the authors in the genre. I think because I'm a guy and I write, I have a very male voice as an author. But the truth is, they see it primarily as romance first and gay second. And so if you add paranormal to that, it's sort of romance first, then gay, then paranormal. And for some people, they're like, yeah, gay, shmay, whatever. It's the paranormal that's the second flavoring. But, but the core of it is romance. And romance is the root of all fiction. Um, so I think it's, I think that the popularity is driven by a desire for human relationships and the tackle doesn't matter so much. And then you throw in the paranormal, which is another hot genre. Right. Another, another yeah. flavor and another... You're pandering, of, aren't you? I am. I'm a whore. I'm a whore. I'll just tape a $20 bill between my tits. No, I, it, the thing with paranormal is that it gives you a chance to splash around. It lets you play with things that you don't get to in regular, um, in, 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 realistic narratives. Stan Lee, um, legendary guy at Marvel Comics, always says Spider-Man is just about some adolescent kid with problems. You just give him a radioactive spider bite and everything changes. And I think that's true of all paranormal, that you could take three kids in a rainy town in the Pacific Northwest moping, or you can have one of them be a vampire, one of them be a werewolf, and suddenly you have Twilight, because it kind of heightens everything. It allows people to have operatic feelings um, that they don't feel permitted to have in their day-to-day -day lives. People don't really want to have strangers climbing up walls into their buildings or bleeding and bringing them roses. But in a paranormal, that's very normal to have things be blood and guts and, and uh, a little bit more operatic. All right, so gay paranormal romance. That's what Horngate is. Absolutely. Tell me the plot. Um, uh, the story, Horngate, is about a librarian, um, a guy named Isaac Stein, who works in a rare book room uh, on the Lower East Side, and he, for his birthday, steals an invitation to a sex lounge and discovers, deep in its basement, he discovers a demon, um, an incubus, a sex demon, imprisoned and being used as a kind of prostitute in bondage by a group of inhuman traffickers. And what he discovers over the course of the novella is that this community is exploiting supernatural spirits um, and sort of pimping them out. So it's a little raunchy and it's a little a, a little mysterious. Uh, my boyfriend describes it as Scooby-Doo with boners. So there's the clues and there's Hebrew and there's there's sort of a gothic romance at the center of it. And it's weirdly sweet. It's not as raunchy as you might expect a sex demon story to be. I'm getting the impression you had a lot of fun writing I this. had a blast. I had a blast writing. Because it, it lets you kind of cut loose. There's no, there's no anchor. It's all sail. And so you really can, can explore a, a language and characters and themes. Stuff that you just don't do in a, a cubicle or in a, a beige sedan driving well, to most people don't, Pennsylvania. Anyway. No, hopefully, <laughs> please, God. All right, uh, Damon, when you enjoy doing something as much as you seem to enjoy doing this, how long does it take you to punch something out? Depends. Um, my first book I wrote in six weeks on a dare. Literally six weeks, boom, 105,000 words. Uh, my uh, horn gate took me about a week. It took me about a week. It's 25,000 words. I also had a book that in 2012, it took me 18 months and it almost killed me. <laughs> so <laughs> it really, it depends on the characters. It depends on the situation. The thing with the romance is I always say it's about the ride. It's what the audience wants to be taken on an emotional journey. And sometimes the emotional journey ends in a brick wall. And so as an author, you have to kind of be ready to deal with, um, you know, emotions that are intense. I cry when I write. I get boners when I write. You, you get angry and spit and throw things. So it, it depends on the characters. It depends. Do you on... cry when you don't get a boner? Sometimes. Yeah. It depends on the boner. It depends so on the crime. Strictly crying. a male problem. No, it's strictly a male <laughs> problem. But it, but it's, but that it, 
it, the thing with romance fiction is, is you have to feel something. I mean, even more than you have to, you have to think, you have to feel. So I think that when writing it, it's always about what it takes to get you through that journey. And so that, de that determines how long it's going to take to get it on paper. Uh, Horngate, mm -hmm. part of a series? Uh, first in the Scratch series, which is about this incubus and his mortal lover as they break up an inhuman trafficking ring, this group of sort of nefarious people using demons and pimping them out to disgusting miscreants. Is this your full-time job? Um, I Writing write, books? I write um, for film and theater. Um, this has become more my full-time full job. When I first started doing this, I was a screenwriter and a playwright. And uh, as I said, a friend of mine uh, gave, basically gave me a dare. And I love this so much. And the fans have been amazing. And the books have been so fun to kind of kick around that I'm doing more and more of this. So I'd say I'm probably now writing 80% romance with a little bit of film and theater for clients that I've worked with for a long time, studios. I, I'm a little worried about you. You seem to lack energy. Yeah, I really, I'm very low energy. <laughs> no, that is not, that is one thing I do not have a problem with. Yeah. Energy is always there. I can tell. He is Damon Swade. He is the author of a new book called Horngate. Thank you, Damon. Thank you very much, right. Les.